1,400 Missoula homes now the target of flooding as our rivers continue to rise to levels not seen since the mid-1970s. Good evening, I'm Jill Valley, And I'm Dennis Bragg. The Clark Fork River expected hit major flood stage possibly as soon as tomorrow. Deputies going door to door today to let residents in flood prone areas know that they're now under an evacuation warning. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office reporting the area under this warning includes homes north of 3rd Street, west of Hiberta Street. It should be noted that these people are not being told to evacuate at this time, but they're being urged to make final preparations to safeguard their property. Also move any pets or livestock out of the area. For more on the impact in the Orchard, Orchard Homes area, let's go now to MTN's Connor McCauley. He joins us now live from the Stone Street area, which is another area under this evacuation warning today. Connor. Thanks, Jill and Dennis. Flood conditions have been changing throughout the week, and new weather predictions show flood conditions that have never been seen since the 70s. The Clark Fork is now predicted to hit major flood stages early this week, and officials are preparing for evacuations. Monday morning, Missoula County Sheriff's deputies talked to residents west of Hyberta along 3rd Street about the new evacuation warning that went into effect. This is evacuation warning, which means we're just saying you need to start making those final precautionary measures. If you need to get livestock out, if you need to get medications, if you need um, special assistance, you need to start making those, those plans now. Sheriff's deputies are attempting to make contact with over 800 homes that have been separated into five zones. While this is just an evacuation warning, the department encourages residents to self-evacuate if possible. With water though, it can rise up, groundwater rises up, so it could be one of those things where you wake up in your house and there's water in your house and you might not be able to get out. So that's why we say with these warnings, if you self-evacuate, that is best, especially with flooding. Officials hope that people in problem areas will evacuate, but for those residents who choose to ride out the floods, local fire departments are gearing up. Uh, so the fire departments are staffing up some swift water rescue teams just in case they do get some increased calls dealing with the swift water. Uh, so they have their teams on standby should, uh, should that need arise. Uh, but again, we want to definitely promote the safety aspect of this. Uh, that rising flood water uh, can be, be very quick, uh, the undercurrent there. So we want to uh, emphasize being uh, very careful. Out. But for now, the evacuation notice is just a warning, and if that turns into an evacuation order, officials ask that you leave your home immediately for your own safety. It's like I said, we're working with so many unknowns that it's hard to say whether or not we'll have evacuation orders in place. Um, but it's, there's a lot of similarities with fire and some differences, but some of the similarities are that if there's an evacuation order, um, we ask people to leave immediately. You won't have time to make final preparations. And um, if you choose to stay, um, we might not be able to come in and help you. Orchard Home residents are strongly encouraged to attend a meeting at Hawthorne Elementary at 6 o'clock tonight. They're also strongly encouraged to sign up for alerts on Smart 911. In Missoula, Connor McCauley, MTN News. Thank you, Connor. The American Red Cross is still operating that evacuation shelter for flood victims. This is the one that's located at Christ the King Church at 1400 Gerald Avenue in Missoula. They are aware this could be a long term thing for them. If you need shelter, a number to call is 800-272-6668. If you need emergency assistance in the event of an evacuation, in the order and you're dealing with something you can't handle, contact 911. If you have been evacuated, the Humane Society will take your animals for safekeeping. If you do that, though, make sure you bring the vaccination records of your pet, and if they have a special diet, make sure you bring that specific food. Now, for